Welcome to Unity Goldfish. If you don't remember and need a refresher, this is Normcore Networking. First off, let's go into this object, which has a real-time object on it and has the appropriate app settings and app key. That's going to make sure that our networking actually works. Let's next go into the yellow cube, which has a real-time transform and a real-time view. Any object that's going to be moving in the network needs to have a real-time transform and a real-time view on it. And in these, it focuses on uh, the idea of ownership. And just to be aware, there is a request ownership on the real-time view. We don't want to use that. So anytime I want to move or scale or rotate an object, I need to be the owner of that object. If I don't own it, then I can't do any of those. If I want to specify, then I can uh, check the position, rotation, and scaling. It's important to note that all of this networked uh, information is happening from the local transform uh, position, rotation, and scale. So if I were to say, child this cube under the blue cube and move the blue cube around, well, the Blue cube will move, but the yellow cube will not. And then if I go into the yellow cube and move it, well, I need to be an owner first, and move it, that's that's the only time it will actually move. Um, now say I want to access the request ownership via script. Here I've created a simple request ownership script, which is using the normal dot real time it's creating a real-time transform and it's just calling the request ownership method on it. It's also doing the same for the clear ownership. When that's done, you can do things like get a button and on click, you can request ownership. On this purple cube, we can see it doesn't have an owner, but I can request ownership here and we see client zero has ownership. The cool thing is that I can override that ownership without clearing the ownership first. If you want to stop that ability, then you'll have to go further in. This actually doesn't work, the prevent ownership takeover on the real-time view, so it probably has to be done in the real-time transform, uh, something like real-time transform dot prevent ownership takeover. One final note is that it's important to remember that if you have rigid bodies attached to your objects, then real-time transforms act differently. They act on world position and it gets more complicated. In addition to that, animators will override real-time transforms. Uh, I'll have a, another video going into deeper description of that, but that's enough for this video. I hope it was helpful and I will check you later.